Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Daniela. I am a medical doctor. Um, already since long time, more than 20 years in the medical field and more than 14 years as consultant of anesthesiology and intensive care medicine. My full name is Dr. Daniela Debelic and I have been working in Europe, in Croatia and in Austria and in Netherlands. I am from Croatia and at the moment I work in Saudi Arabia, in Riyadh. Um, I'm here tonight to tell you that I have been cooperating with many great teams in the world, as well as I am a co-founder of a Brain Research Unit. We are measuring the brain, we are analyzing and working on QEGs and consultations for our clients. Uh, and as well, I am international instructor and course director um, for the usbcity.org organization uh, that we are teaching heart ultrasound and how to save people lives, people's lives. Um, I have been cooperating with many, many really great centers and great people in the world. And I believed when I started absolutely in, in medical science. Uh, still, I want to share with you something that is very, very important that happened in my life. And it may help you to understand that we are much higher beings than we think we are, that we are connected with beautiful God forces and that they are here for us, that God is here for us, and that the blood of Jesus Christ, that its frequency and its existence throughout space and time exists here for us. Uh, it was some years ago when I was emotionally broken. It happened a lot of things in my family that uh, that made me sink down and down and down again. And I, I tried to help everybody and everything. And I was working very hard in Anastasia field at that time in Croatia. And um, it happened that after one 24 hours shift, I crashed totally with my energy. Although I was feeling, you know, I was working as cardio anesthesiologist then in 24 hour shift was due to my duty for uh, post-operative heart operation patients in the cardiac ICU. Um, and what I want to share with you is that I was feeling like everything is all right. I, I didn't have very much like energy, but still I was coping with it very, very good regardless of everything that was going on in my private life. And I, I tried to do my best for everything and everybody. Um, I, I thought it's our duty that I have to do it. So I came home and suddenly I sat on my couch and all the colors of purple and white and black, they just starting um, cruising in front of my eyes so I, I couldn't see really what is in front of me. I just saw those patterns that are perfect in geometry, but it scared me because for a few seconds, I saw only that with my eyes open. Um, after some time, it was maybe a few minutes, I felt suddenly high temperature. It crashed me totally. I thought it was just the flu, maybe stronger one. And you have to know that I, uh, I never use drugs in my life. I, um, I eat healthy, mostly by organic food and drink water, water and lemon, and I keep myself in energy the best I can. 
But I was exhausted then, very, very much exhausted emotionally and physically. So after a few minutes, not only the temperature came, that was more than 40 Celsius degrees. What happened is I, I started feeling and seeing rash all over my hands. And more than that, I started feeling like it, it, it went into my lungs, like like tingling feeling that that was overflowing all over my lungs. So as intensive care consultant and a doctor for many years, even then, I knew that there is something really serious going on because those symptoms were not normal. Those symptoms were like overwhelming all over my body. And I, I thought, okay, I called my colleague that was and that's the day after my 24 hours duty uh, on the shift to cardiac intensive care. And I told him, listen, I have these symptoms. I don't feel good. I just want you to know that. And he said, well, baby, come right away back. <laughs> I said, you know, I cannot come back uh, because I feel like even if I move, that I will stop breathing. And I, I knew that it would be really true. So at that moment, um, I just kept myself very, very calm. I, I was breathing very slowly and I let myself like float on the bed, like I'm really floating, like I am not in the body. I let my body be in peace of all of my emotions. And I recovered after some hours a little bit better. But the day after that, I went to the hospital and they gave me some infusions that they took my blood for examination and everything was all right. But the leukocytes, they were less than one. It was total immune suppression and I couldn't hold nothing in my hands, not even a cup of tea. It was very, very uh, severe energy drop down. And they knew they cannot help me. They knew how I lived for months and what I went through in my life. Uh, it was actually for a few years, not months. Although I tried to be a very strong woman, you know, <laughs> you try to get to catch yourself every time you fall. So I was like two days in intensive care and they were just looking at me. They, they knew that they took out blood for all sorts of things. and. And um, they didn't know what to do with me. I also knew that they cannot help me. So I went home. They said, how can you go home? I said, no, I, go, I will go home. So I took, I called the taxi and, and the taxi drove me home. So I was there, I recovered somehow. I stood a few weeks at home and I was eating only fruits and I was drinking only water, tea, sage tea, and stuff like that. So my body recovered. But then I went to work again, because uh, you have, like, if there is no special reason, you cannot tell to your doctor, like, energy drop down, and then they will let you stay at home for a few months. It has to be like some diagnosis. And uh, in the medical world, still they do not accept uh, energy drop down because you cannot measure energy although people really need to recover when they feel that they cannot anymore and so I went to work I started working and after one day again after work I felt like my energy is going back down again and I was I came to apartment and I sat there by the table and I felt like I am losing all the body power and like the energy from my spine is is getting left and right symmetrically losing itself and I knew that if I let it and if I even try to do any effort that it will be somehow the end of my energy for whatever reason it is, for whoever is listening. So I put my head over my arm and I spoke to God from my heart. I said, God, I did many things that are not correct in this life. 
although I try to do my best, I really try to do my best all of my life for everything and everybody, including my family and the people I work with and my clients, the patients, everybody. And my son, especially for him now. He was little. I said, but God, I feel I cannot anymore. I tried everything, food and drinking and healthy and I, I tried to do exercises, everything, but I'm just losing myself. And if you think that for any reason, I deserve to live and that I have assignment that is bigger than myself, that I can help my son, that I can help anybody on this planet, help me because I cannot help myself anymore. This is how I said, but I said it silently, very, very quietly, and from my heart, absolutely. What happened is I fell asleep immediately because I was exhausted. And after, in this time that we can measure, maybe it was 10 minutes, maybe it was 20, but not more than that. I woke up. I woke up again with my head on my arm like this, and it was a beautiful tablecloth that my mother made there. She died some years ago before that. And I felt alive again. I felt infused with energy again. And it was the air around me in the apartment, in the whole apartment, was dense, it was so quiet. Like I, I've never felt before that stillness and quietness and I felt like there are, like there are many angels around me. I felt that they were there for me and they infused me something in between 70 and 80% of my full power energy. I felt that even when my head was down on my arm and I lifted up my arm very slowly because I was aware of them. I was aware of the God's power of all of those beings around me. They were, they were holding me. They were not really that they were holding me. They were holding the energy space around me and within me. They totally infused me with power, with energy back, but not totally in between 17 and 70 and 80 percent. I was grateful. I am grateful for that. And when I dared, I looked slowly all around me. If I could see, I did not see with my eyes, but I felt it all over inside of me. That the density, that stillness, that energy, that power, it is very gentle power, very soothing power. Actually, I cannot describe that level of power because it's, it's not every day here for us unless we call it, unless we ask from all of our heart for it, for important reason and cause. What I want to share with you is, I said that day, that very moment, that I am aware that they gave me a gift of life again. And I was also aware, because they, we communicated in, without words that you can hear, that they, they gave me that because of my heart intentions and because I can then say what happened. I can speak about it. I can help anybody with it. 
When you need, they're really there. When you ask for it from your heart, they're always there for you, for us. And they gave me assignment to regain the rest of the 20 to 30% of my power myself back. So from that very moment, I travel to learn and I travel to teach because my knowledge of medicine is high enough to understand the body and the physiology of the body. And as cardio anesthesiologist, you know, we, we have to know everything, how the heart and circulation and the brain functions and every organ of the body have to master it. So I got the assignment to teach how can we enhance the power? What can we do? So I'm very grateful that everybody I met after that moment, after some time, it doesn't happen immediately. It takes some time that everything gets into its place. Some things happened instantaneously, instantaneously, but some things happened some weeks or months or even years afterwards. But I'm very grateful to be sharing this with you, that you know what kind of beings we are, who are we connected with, what kind of power created us, what kind of power watches over us. And all we have to do is communicate every day with that beautiful God, with Jesus Christ, with the holy blood that speaks and gives us the frequency. I even believe sometimes when I analyze everything that I've ever learned and ever seen in my life and experienced in medicine, in physics, and life, that we are paced, like that our heart is aligned with the heart frequency of that. of the gorgeous, ultimate, and the only highly spiritual, intelligent, mighty and merciful power that loves us and created us. What my beliefs are, what I think it may not be, so important for you but what I have experienced I really wanted to share with you because those those things are real more than visible environment that our eyes can see but if you are focused enough and if you take a peaceful time for you it can be weeks, hours, days, months, or years if it takes to be a little bit out of your routine, not disturbed with all the environment and all their, all their demands, electromagnetic, emotional, moral or other disturbances that can lead you somewhere where you can be broken <laughs> where you can hardly catch yourself some things happen and you have to know that everything happens for a reason. And when you feel in your heart the truth, that's the only truth. Nothing that the logic can calculate by your experience. 
that you can prove scientifically so far. It cannot match the knowing of your heart. Open your eyes. Listen carefully to the quiet voices. Ask. Just ask. Ask from the bottom of your heart. And things change. I vowed myself then, at that very moment, that I will share this with everybody who can listen, who can understand, who can believe, and who can want to clear out their brain, their heart, from all the disturbances, and to go only for the truth. I wish you a blessed days and nights throughout all space and time, May God bless you, always and forever. Thank you so much 